good morning all of you in the last class we have completed the coagulation process of purification and today we will discuss about the next purification process that is filtration screening and sedimentation will remove a large percentage of the suspended solid and organic matter present in raw supplies and the percentage of removal of the fine colloidal matter increases when coagulants are also used before sedimentation so both this process we have discussed in our previous classes but however the resultant water will not be free of impurities and may contain some very fine suspended particles so to remove or to reduce the remaining impurities still further and to produce potable water the water is filtered through the beds of fine granular material such as sand etc so the process of passing the water through the beds of fine granular material such as sand is known as filtration and filtration will help in removing color odor turbidity and some pathogenic bacteria from water next we will discuss about the theory behind the filtration process so filters purify water under four different processes such as mechanical straining flocculation and sedimentation biological metabolism and electrolytic changes so first we will discuss about the mechanical straining so in mechanical straining the suspended particles present in water and which are of bigger size than the size of the void of the filter will not pass through these voids and they will get arrested in them therefore the resultant water will be free from them so most of the particles are removed in the upper sand layer the arrested particle including the coagulant coagulated flocks form a mat on the top of the bed and which further helps in straining out the impurities so this is the theory behind mechanical straining okay so in this what happen the bigger size particles which are bigger than the voids of the sand layer will not pass through the voids and they will get arrested in the voids therefore the resultant water which will be coming out is free from them next is theory behind flocculation and sedimentation so it has been found that the filters are able to remove even particles of size which are smaller than the size of the voids how so this will uh, explained by assuming that the void spaces of the sand particles are Uh, will act like tiny coagulation and sedimentation tank so the colloidal matter arrested in this void is a gelatinous mass and therefore they will attract other fine particles so these fine particles settle down in the voids and get removed clear so this is how the filtration will act like a uh, will uh, act on flocculation and sedimentation mechanism so next one is biological metabolism 
so certain microorganism and bacteria are generally present in the voids of the filters so what happen these microorganism and bacteria will uh, they require organic impurities as their food for survival so what happen when the water will pass through them the organic impurities which are uh, present in the water will uh, utilized by the microorganism present in the voids so they will convert them into harmless compounds by the process of biological metabolism so the harmless compound so form will generally form a layer on the top which is called scum deck or dacty skin so this layer will further help in absorbing and straining out the impurities next one is electrolytic changes so according to the the purifying action of filter can also be explained by the theory of ionization so according to this theory a filter helps in purifying water by changing the chemical characteristic of water how so this may be explained by the fact that sand grains of the filter media and the impurities are carrying electrical charges of opposite nature sand grains and impurities they carry electrical a uh, charges of opposite nature so when these oppositely charged particles and the impurities come in contact with each other they neutralize each other thereby changing the character of the water and making it pure clear yeah? so this is all about the theory of filtration next we will discuss about the types of filter so there are mainly three different types of filter one is slow sand filter second one is rapid gravity filter third one is pressure filter so first we will discuss about slow sand filters so there are different parts are present in slow sand filter such as enclosure tank filter media base material under drainage system inlet and outlet arrangement so we will discuss in brief about these parts so this is the section of a slow sand filter so first we will discuss about the enclosure tank so enclosure tank it is an open air water tight rectangular tank made up of masonry or concrete the bed slope of this tank is kept at about 1 in 100 okay this is the rectangular tank you can see here so this is uh made at a slope of 1 in 100 so the depth of the tank varies from 2.5 to 3.5 meter and the plan area of the tank varies from varies from 100 to 2000 square meter okay so this is the depth 2.5 meter to 3.5 meter and the plan area will vary from 100 to 2000 square meter okay so next one is so this is about your enclosure tank so next part is your filter media so filter media consist of sand layer you can see here this is the layer of sand 
so this filter media consist of sand layer about 90 to 110 centimeter in depth so the depth varies from 90 centimeter to 110 centimeter and it is placed over a gravel support so this one is the gravel see here 30 centimeter to 60 centimeter gravel so it support on it rest on a gravel support and the effective size of the sand varies from 1.8 to 2.5 and the top layer top 15 centimeter layer of the sand is generally kept of finer variety than that of the rest okay so uh, if we will use different gradation of sand then the coarsest layer which consists of coarse sand should be placed near the bottom and the finest towards the top because the finer the sand used the purer will be the obtained water and as more bacteria and impurities can be removed so if we will uh, use the sand of uh, different uh, gradation then what have uh, what we have to do we have to put the finer sand in the top layer so that uh, more bacteria and impurities can be removed okay then we will discuss about so filtering media next one is your base material so see here your base material is gravel this one is the base material okay so the base material is gravel and it supports the sand it consists of 30 to 75 centimeter thick gravels of different size 30 to 75 centimeter thick gravel of different size generally three to four layers are used the coarsest gravel is used at the bottommost layer and the finest gravel used in the topmost layer. As we have discussed in filter media that the finest sand will place in the top layer and the coarsest sand will placed at the bottom. Similar is the case here. The coarsest gravel will be placed at the bottommost layer and the finest gravel is used in the topmost layer. Okay. So coarsest gravel is used in the bottom most layer and finest gravel is used in the top most layer. And the size of the gravel in the bottom most layer is generally kept 40 to 65 mm. And in the intermediate layer it will vary between 20 to 40 and 6 to 20 if two intermediate layers are used. And in the topmost layer, it is it will vary from 3 to 6 mm. Okay. So next we will discuss about the under drainage system. So see here in the section. So this one is the under drainage system. This is the main drain. Okay, main central drain. And these are the under drains coming from both sides which are discharged into the main central drain. So this is the under drainage system and also here you can see the plan of this under drainage system. So this one is the inlet chamber from where water enters and this is the main drain. These are the lateral drains and this one is the outlet well. So, this is the plan. This one is the section. See here. This is the inlet and this one is the drain and this is the outlet portion. So, this is the section and this one is the plan. So, under drainage system, the gravel support is laid on the top of an under drainage system. And the under drainage system consists of a central drain and lateral drains. The laterals are open jointed pipe drains which are 
placed three to five meter apart. See here, these are placed some placed generally three to five meter apart on the bottom floor, and they are sloping towards the main drain. See here, the water will enter into the main drain from the lateral drain. The lateral drains will collect uh, the filtered water and discharge it into the main drain. The main drain will lead the water to the filtered water well. Okay. So next part is. So next we will discuss about the inlet and outlet arrangement. So in inlet and outlet arrangement you can see here uh, an inlet chamber is constructed for admitting the effluent from the plain sedimentation tank without distributing the sand layers of the filter and it will distribute the water uniformly over the filter bed and a filtered water well is also constructed on the outlet side in order to collect the filtered water that is coming out from the main drain. So in the section also you can see here. This is the inlet valve for raw water from sedimentation tank. And this one is the outlet for filtered water. So besides this arrangement certain other appurtenances are provided for the efficient functioning of the filter such as a vertical air pipe is provided which is passed through the filter media for proper functioning of the filter second one is a device can is used for measuring loss of head third one is an adjustable telescopic tube is used to maintain the constant discharge so this is all about the uh, construction of slow sand filter. In the next class we will discuss about the operation and cleaning of slow sand filters. Thank you.